Hey guys, got a cool pile of comics here. Let's start. Hey ladies and gents, your pal Rob here. Got some cool new books. And these, in this pile of books were a really good bargain. Everything here was a dollar or less. So the first book is Captain America. This is 606. This is the first appearance of, I believe, Tombstone's daughter. And this is from the issue where she finds the old Beatles suit. There's a rumor about this book. I think it has something to do with her possibly being in a, in a Spider-Man movie in the future. So if you see this book, it might be worth picking up for a buck or less. This is uh, Spectacular Spider-Man 24. This is the uh, first appearance of Carrion, and he is a clone of Professor Miles Warren, the jackal who hates Spider-Man. This is a pretty cool series. Itchy and Scratchy, number one. And this is a character, these are characters from The Simpsons. We got Legion 89. Now, I think I'm correct in saying this is the first Lobo out of sight of my Mega Men. So, it's, his, it's not his first appearance, but it's still a cool series. This is Superman, issue number 41. And this is the first, this is the issue where Lobo and Superman first met and they battle, and I believe in Action or Adventure Comics 464. Great battle. This is a really cool series worth reading. Snake Eyes or G.I. Joe number 135. For those who don't know, the last issue of G.I. Joe in this series, or the first series, is 155. And the later on issues are really hard to find, like this one, and they go for a little bit of money. We got Barbed Wire number one. This is the first appearance of Barbed Wire. And for those who, once again, don't know, I believe Pamela Anderson played the character in a movie. Blade, the Iron Cross number one. I'm a huge Puppet Master fan, so I had to get the book. Human Torch number one. This is the 1970s series. Not his first appearance. This is a cool battle cover between the android and I believe Johnny Storm. This is Power Pack 62. This is the final issue. And final issues are hard to find sometimes. We got Bomb Queen number one, the first appearance of the Bomb Queen. Emma Frost number six. I did a poll in my community section one time about what their favorite Emma Frost cover was, and six came in number one. Fantastic Four 310. This is an issue where the thing mutates even more, and I believe Miss Marvel in this series became the, the new she thing. Fantastic Four, this is 186. And 186 is the first team appearance of the Salem 7. And there's a rumor that we may see the Salem 7 in the Agatha Harkness series on Disney. So if you see this book for a dollar or less, it might be worth picking up. We got the Avengers, the Children's Crusade. This is number nine, and this is a controversial issue. This is the one I believe that the president of Brazil banned, or maybe, a, maybe I might have been a mayor in Brazil who banned this uh, comic in their country. This is a coverless copy of X-Men 97. I have a copy of Joker number one. This is a remainder copy where the top of the front cover was cut off or torn off. And the, the rear cover is just fine. This is a great way to buy expensive books for a, a low price. Here, see these? They're worth picking up. We got Amazing Spider-Man 528. And this is the, just, just a really cool um, Spider-Ham sketch cover. That's why I got it. We got, this is the True Believers reprint of Thrawn number one. And, but this one I looked it up and the True Believers copy or edition, I believe there's less than 10,000 ordered or printed. So this is probably rarer than the first print, but for a buck or less, I think they're worth picking up. We got Batman, the man who laughs, really cool Joker cover. And also um, just a cool story. This is Star Wars The Force Awakens number four. This has in the, on the cover here a silhouette and first cameo appearance of the Knights of Ren. Star Wars 19, and this is the first cover appearance of Quinlan Voss and the first appearance of a Jedi Knight, alias Akira. If you've watched the Star Wars Clone Wars series, you'll probably see her there. We got Firestar number one. This is a one shot. And this is the first cover of Art of Stephanie Hans in Marvel. The Uncanny X-Men number 158. This cover ties with ROM 31 as the first cover appearance of Rogue and second appearance of, of Rogue. And this is X-Men 207. This is an iconic Wolverine art cover here. You ever see that one? Pick it up. And the book of the day right here. 
couldn't believe I found this one. All these books are a dollar or less. I couldn't believe I found this one. Punisher 218. This is the John Bernthal cover. I call it the Netflix cover. This book is really popular, and the speculation is we're going to see John Bernthal in the uh, Punisher series. And reportedly, he may be sporting the um, War Machine armor. So this book is hot. If you see this one, get it. Have a nice day.